All right, working along with the month of May, I have cut out all my pieces. You know the drill. We're gonna cut the decorative page or decorative paper from Graphic 45 at five by five, and our matting cardstock is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And again, on this one, just start out at your six, snip it down to five and three quarters, and then five and a half, but you're gonna do it on each side, five and three quarters and five and a half, and then flip it around and start at your uh, eighth inch, snipping off each side until you make a five by five, okay? This one's gonna go like so here. You guys already know the drill. I'm gonna hold this down where I know it goes. I wanna make a U. We're gonna do this pretty much throughout the, the album. So as I'm moving along, I'm just gonna try to make it a little bit quicker as far as a process, unless there's a pocket or you know a flap that you need a measurement for, just to make this video, because it seems like this is gonna be a very long, long, long video. So, um, and again, I will come through towards the end and I will, oops, I want to make sure that as I come through, I will clean up all the glue seepage. Just because that's just me, I like my stuff to be nice and clean. All right, so we got that there. And then over here, we'll add this one. And again, this one though is gonna go this way so I'm gonna hold it here because I know that's where my opening is gonna be. Yeah, so from now down to towards the end, unless there's a flap or a pocket or something that we're gonna be adding, I'll pretty much be cutting and um, showing you how I decorate it as I go along. But the process should be a little bit faster. Um, as we get through the remainder of our pages. And again, it's very consistent as far as the matting. The black cardstock that I'm using is five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and your um, layered piece is five by five. Okay. All right, and again, here's the pieces for my pocket and the pieces for my pocket. All of them are gonna be the same, okay? So these are three and an eighth, three and one eighth by five and a quarter. And your decorative piece that goes on top is two and seven eighth by five inches. So that's that one there. And for June, I'll probably just glue these, cut them and glue them and, you know, show you where I glued them and how I glued them. But um, I think pretty much it's going to be the same throughout. Okay. And this one here, again, this is from the May collection. And I cut it at one and five eighth by five inches. And our mat or our base is one and seven eighth by five and a quarter. And I've cut all my little embellishments as you can see on the side here, all my little ephemeras and embellishments are already pre-cut. So now, before, oops, what I meant to do, okay. So what I meant to do, and I forgot because I was getting carried away, 
is um, we were going to put this little flap here um, and it was going to go behind our um, mat right here but I totally spaced it out um, okay so this little piece here is two and a half by five and a quarter and I scored it at a half inch two and a half by five and a quarter and I scored it at a half inch applied my score tape and then this little piece that goes on top is one and three quarters by five inches and you'll need two pieces one for the outside and one for the inside and again I just use pieces from the collection so so I'm gonna go ahead and put it because I'll just apply it on top and kind of camouflage a little boo-boo there but you want to tuck this behind your little you want to tuck it behind this space here okay go here and This little piece here just to kind of mask it and it is just three quarter inch by five inches and that's just going to go right there and actually yeah right there Place while you're burnishing it and then we can probably snip like dearest mother or something like that and you can put that there Snip these off, and I'm not one to celebrate, as you guys know. I'm not a fan of Mother's Day. Um, my mom passed away, but I never get in the mood for Mother's Day, in other words. I'm fussy cutting these out. Just gonna probably kind of put that little right there, and I'm just gonna use a foam tape.
also, if I wanted to, I could have put that here, like that, here, like so, and that way it could flip out that way as well. But not. I'm going to put this one right here, right there. Remove my tape. a little piece of this scrap maybe right there cut it at five and a quarter put that right there like so you could put a magnet on there as well a button whatever to make it more of a nicer closure Okay, and then we have this little piece here that we're going to mat. And this one is four and a half by four and seven eighth. And we've cut this one at four by five, four by four and five eighth. And I keep repeating these measurements just in case. but they're all the same, okay? okay. And then we have this little piece here that I've cut out. Um, and this one actually, this would have been right here. And this one, this is, yeah, that way. And so this one was just a little piece of extra from one of my other pockets um, uh, that I've cut out an extra. So what I did is I lined up my paper and I made a one mark here and one mark here about an eighth of an inch and then I lined it up on my paper trimmer like I did in the other videos. This is going to go right here, like so, like that. And I'm just going to do an L, a little bit of L glue right around there because we're going to use this for a little tuck for our little journaling card. It's going to go right flush against there on the base of our mat that we put down. Make sure. Make sure 
we can completely draw this. Right, I'm going to get closer to my guys. It's harder to do it backwards. Make sure this all closes. This has to close. And I should, I should have put a magnet right here and I might just put one there. Well, wing it somehow. Just because I want it to snap on. There, I'll just put a little decorative piece. Camouflage that. Mm. Here. It's not glowing. Not enough glue. And you want to make sure that where you put it, your little flap's going to be able to close properly, okay? So that's really, really important. that for a bit there and this is going to go actually right tucked in here myself like that okay and so let's get let's get some other type of faster glue our score tape that'll hold it down <clears throat> Either this one or that one, it doesn't glow. It's quicker if you just, you know, use your score tape. the magnets. That's what happens when you do an afterthought. Go ahead and let that 
that sit for a bit because if I keep messing with it, it's going to give me some attitude. So let's let that sit for a bit. And then we'll come back. So let's go ahead and glue this one. That's going to go there. Oh, come on, dude. You're giving me such a hard time. Let's camouflage that <laughs> because it appears that it is giving me an attitude. We need to adjust the attitude on that one. So let's just add something to kind of camouflage that. On this one, we'll probably put Mother's Day. Just going to snip it just like so. And then we can add that like that. So that's what we're going to do there. See what we can put. Let's put hmm, something tiny. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead. While I think about where what I'm gonna put here to cover up that magnet, I'm gonna glue this one down. Let me have a little bit of a thinking moment as to what I'm gonna do there. You would have thought that I didn't think that this was going to be such a huge album, but it's coming out really cute. I'm liking it. I'm, I'm really am. It's really, really cute and definitely will have a lot of a purpose because, you know, you can put little notes and little things in there. Pictures of your loved ones. Special moments. So... Yeah, definitely a very cute, and I'm glad I did it. Massively long video tutorial, that is for sure, but it's definitely very pretty. So again, we're going to make sure these are flushed, and they're flushed on both sides. But not sealing in your pocket. Okay, make sure. So hold it down where you want it and just kind of put a little bit of pressure when you're burnishing it. Okay. All right. So let's see what sentiment we're going to put on there to kind of. Half dearest mother found found fondest wishes hmm. for hmm, happy birthday is not suitable for Mother's Day. And all we have is maybe this one here, but that's just not pretty. Hmm. <laughs> what do we have here as far as stickers? Let's see what we have in the stickers. For Mother's Day. Hmm. Nothing very good for Mother's Day. Oh, no, no, no. Be thankful. Hmm. 
Any of you guys can hear the bell. We can't put anything like chipboard related that's that heavy for the simple reason that then it will interfere with the connection with the other um, Well, maybe we could put this for you. Let's put some battery tack to make sure it sticks better. It's a small little for you, but you know, kind of camouflages it a little, not too heavy that it's gonna interfere with, you know, the mechanism there. And it's still kind of making. Does interfere. Why are you being such a little snotty booger? I'm not understanding. Why are you being so difficult? I'm making a little difficulty today. Here's where it's the connection. Get this back. And there it is. for you again let's try this for you maybe this one will be a better one Married on this dear's mother found this wishes let's see will that yeah yeah let's do this one because it's a little bit bigger fondest wishes really want to make sure you have plenty of tape but I don't want to cover up the butterfly that's for sure no. not the prettiest sentiment for Mother's Day but that definitely had the spot okay so after 20 million hours of struggling with that little particular piece, and this one's going to go in here like so. Really cute. And then we have all these other little elements that we need to definitely mat. So this one will mat there. The struggle was real, guys. It was really, really, really real. With that little piece, you would have thought, you know, it only took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes. It shows that not everyone is perfect and not everything goes as planned, you know. So don't beat your heart out or don't, you know, be hard on yourself because you can't get it to go right because you see, you just saw me, I was struggling. I was definitely the struggle was the struggle was real. Well, you know, I don't know if there's a birthday mom. I know my brother's my brother was born on my oldest brother was born on Mother's Day. But not anything that I would want to say congratulations for, right? So we'll leave that congratulations for something else. And We'll cut this one up. It really didn't give us much. Let's 
far as cutting this one. Oh, butterfly's gone, and I love butterflies, but sorry, butterfly. We'll put that tape, that one right there. Thing. This one could be matted on a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Can go there. I need a little something to mat. I'll turn this one. And I apologize as this video is long, but I didn't realize how lengthy, you know, this would be when I got into the task of doing this. <sighs> So, hmm, let's see how we can make a little, um, we can do this, we can do it down here, the postage, so that we can add this in here, like so. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on each end and make a little pocket. Tuck spot there. That's about an eighth of an inch and about a quarter of an inch on the bottom. That way we can tuck this one in, even if it's not, because I think that's like five inches. So we'll see how that goes. If not those, then these can go there. See? And this one can also go here, maybe. Or on, we did do a pocket here. Yeah, we can do it there. There, and then we have this little journaling spot here. And that's a little extra. We don't need that. And a little extra stamp. Definitely don't need that one. And these are just extra little pieces that we don't need. And they'll go right back into our little, although I could, this one will look cute. So let's put this one here. Yeah. I'll look cute there. Let's do that. We can also yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's put some dimension on it. All right, so for June, I am gonna have everything cut and a lot better. Um, 
as far as making sure we don't have these little delays. It's a little hard sometimes, but I do think that we do have a little extra pockets in June. We'll put that right here. Right there. So yeah, so that is May. We have our May here. You can journal. Add some pictures in this little tuck spot here. Journal something there. Have these little messages here. You have your little card here that we've put in there. And then you have this magnetic little spot here that was given us such a hard time and the little journaling card there that you can pull out. And over here you have the tag and these little elements from the collection. And I think that does it for me. So let's see what we do for June.